Hi YouTubers, welcome to Tech World Vlogs and Tesla. Hope you guys are all doing all right. It's uh, it's another video that I'm bringing to you guys there and I have a mystery package here from Apple. And I'm sure if you're following this channel for a long time, I'm sure you guys all know that I've been contemplating switching to the newer iPhone. And I finally decided to pull the trigger. So I no longer have my uh, favorite iPhone SE. Uh, it's gotten a little bit outdated and it's Christmas season and I decided to treat myself with a new iPhone. So today I'm doing a video review of the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 13. Now I've contemplated this question a lot whether I want to go with the iPhone 12 or iPhone 13. So I decided to get both. I will look at both of these phones, uh, do an unboxing of these phones and I'm sure I'll be bringing a lot of videos on these two uh, new phones from Apple. Uh, gotta say this is the package I picked up from Apple. The employees at the Apple store were fantastic um, Really enjoyed the customer service there. The COVID protocol was really great um, It's by appointment. So you book the appointment you show up and then they actually take you to the table and give you a full one-on-one -on -one service It's really great, but the lineup is very long So I recommend booking an appointment. So inside the box uh, start off with the first item is a brand new iPhone 13 in product red. So I really like the product red. I do have the product red in the iPhone SE. Um, and I want to stick with the same team, the product red. It's actually um, Apple's initiative product red to uh, support the fight against AIDS. Uh, so I really like the benefit of the product red and the cause of the product red. And also this red looks really nice. Um, easy to find, I lose my phone all the time. So this red will help me find it. One thing that's unique with the iPhone um, 12 versus uh, the iPhone 13 is the iPhone 13 does not have the plastic wrap on it, uh, which is Apple's initiative to reduce plastic. This is uh, pretty interesting. It does have the easy peel at the bottom there uh, and at the top, which keeps the product sealed, but there's no plastic uh, packaging around the product. So that's interesting. And the next item in the box is the iPhone 12 and I decided to get the iPhone 12 uh, in purple. So there's the iPhone 12 in purple and there's the iPhone 13. Alright, let's go ahead and unbox this here. I already went ahead and peeled the plastic off the iPhone 12. This is the purple edition. Uh, this is the only one that had the plastic on it. Uh, but it's nice that it's off now so I can reveal the phone. Uh, really cool that there is a paper covering on this phone. Uh, let's go ahead and peel this off. It does have the indicator there uh, for where the charging um, port is. And let's go ahead and peel this off. There you go. So a couple things I noticed with this iPhone right off the bat um, is the phone has the square finish. So I'm coming from an iPhone SE which has the rounded corner. Uh, here you can see it's a square corner, so it's much more of a boxy look for the phone. And then there's these antennas indicator on the side, which basically um, is uh, located all around the phone. It does have a really, really flat screen. Um, on my previous uh, iPhone SE, you could actually see a little bit of elevation on the screen from the actual chassis of the phone, but here it's flat. Uh, so there's no, um, I guess, bump from the screen to the actual uh, body of the phone. On the side, um, there is the actual power option. Uh, there is the front notch for the front camera. And then there's this, uh, I guess, the uh, speakers. Uh, on, the, uh, on the actual side here, we have the uh, S, the SIM card uh, tray. And then we have the volume up and volume down button and then silent mode on, silent mode off. Uh, you also have the external speakers here, uh, which is also really loud and does look like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's like a six and three layout on the speaker. 
in terms of the actual um, back of this here it has a glossy glass finish on the back and then the camera is actually top and bottom on this phone and then you have that actual um, I guess the lighting there for the flash uh, which is two-tone lighting uh, that actually helps with uh, giving you even skin tone in terms of lighting I don't know if you can see but there is a bit of a notch there for the cameras so the camera comes up a little bit not too much so you want to avoid putting this phone flat on the surface because it could definitely scratch the camera lens that's one thing I noticed but look at this finish this is just a beautiful elegant purple uh, phone so this phone here is something I will be testing out uh, I do miss the headphone jack and I think that's something I will uh, slowly get used to and the fact that their uh, corners are wrong is very interesting I do like the um, I do like the design it feels more I guess solid in your hand doesn't weigh a lot it's very lightweight uh, but I can already see the screen is uh, already collecting dust and fingerprints so I'll definitely need to get a screen protector for that all right putting that down there's the charging it is actually this one I'm excited about uh, to unbox this you actually just peel this easy unboxing I guess sticker off just like that nice and easy you don't have to fiddle around with any knife or box cutter peel this side off top and bottom and should pop right out just like that already I can see with this phone it actually comes face down so the camera is exposed and on the camera you can see the camera here is um, diagonal so it's a diagonal um, layout and here it's in a vertical layout which is very interesting Apple logos already also I noticed the camera here is higher there's a higher bump on the camera on the iPhone 13 versus the iPhone 12 Let's look at that you can already see there it's it sits higher on the actual camera which is very concerning because now you don't want to you definitely don't want to put this flat on a surface because you can easily scratch that camera uh, product red uh, like the logo there does say product red this is a bit of a strong red angry red I would say um, which is really nice in terms of the physical um, settings of the phone we do have let's put them side to side we do have the same uh, placement of the uh, silent and silent button or slider volume is at the same height uh, so volume up volume down uh, we have the sim tray it's kind of hard because the iphone 13 has a higher bump the sim tray is located exactly where the sim tray is for the iphone 12 and then the charging port us it is a lightning charging port same number of speakers we have six on one side and three on the other side and ten at the bottom and ten at the side the power button is really big i noticed that i apple will be making these power button extremely big which is quite interesting and then the top it is a square design uh, so square sides which i do like actually it makes the phone more compact and let's go ahead and peel the front uh, glass reveal the iphone 13 go so iPhone 13 the glass is similar to the iPhone 12 there's not a lot of difference with these two phones and I'll go over the specs on these two phones but in terms of the physical design it is extremely it's like twin it's extremely identical the front screen just like the iPhone 12 the front screen on the iPhone 13 sits at the edge of the bezel uh, so basically there's nothing it basically disappears into the actual um, body of the iPhone 13. There is a bit of a difference in width for the actual uh, microphone. You can see already here the iPhone 13 has a wider microphone uh, which is actually more visible. The iPhone 12 is shorter microphone but it sits lower into the phone the iphone 13 is a longer microphone but it sits higher on the front screen which is very interesting 
um, and then on in terms of the flash the flash on the iPhone 13 sits on the left and the flash on the iPhone 12 sits on the right so pretty much um, the opposite for each of these two phones uh, the fact that the actual um, I guess the face ID uh, will use that camera too the actual microphone sits so close to the top uh, means that if you're getting a case you don't want your case to come too much to the screen because your case might actually block the microphone all right so that's the iPhone 13 in terms of weight um, very similar in weight can't really tell the difference between the two uh, it does feel exactly the same in weight the screen um, not as much fingerprint on the screen uh, in terms of the iPhone 13 versus the iPhone 12. iPhone 12 seems to collect a lot of fingerprint, uh, which is very interesting. I think these are new screens that Apple are using. So the fact that they have two different screens doesn't surprise me. Uh, so inside the box with the iPhone 13, you do get the cable, no charge and brake on both phones. This is the lightning to USB-C cable. And you also get the uh, product red disclaimer that does say here in the product red disclaimer um, in partnership with red apple will contribute a portion of your iphone purchase to the global fund to support hiv aids program and help deliver an aids free generation so really good cost for purchasing the product red and then um, you also get the sim card op um, opener as well as a disclaimer so let's talk about oh, and you get a sticker so let's talk about these two phones why I decided to get these two phones specifically so one thing that really stand out to me was price and we all need to care about our pockets and price was really the big decision maker for these two phones all right folks so now we have the two iPhone completely set up this is the red iPhone 13 and the purple beautiful purple iPhone 12 um, I really have to get some of the protective cameras because I can already tell when I put it flat on the desk the phone is not even you can see it's like tilted just because the camera has a bump on it same with the iPhone 13 it's more noticeable um, when you put it flat on the desk the camera bump there is more elevating the front part of the uh, phone higher causing the phone to like do this there so it's not very flat in terms of these two phones what is beneficial to these phones so the iphone uh, 13 uh, in red currently it's a uh, 6.1 inch screen xdr display um, 5g which is pretty fantastic and that's the reason why i didn't want to go to older phone like the iphone 11 which is still on a 4g network this is a 5g um, antenna for high quality streaming the iphone 13 has the wide ultra wide camera at the back as well as the ultra wide camera at the back it gives me the function of cinematic mode with up to uh, 30 frames per second um, at 1080 1080p which is more than enough for me um, dual vision hdr video recording uh, gives me a beautiful 4k recording at 60 frames per second 60 frames per second which is just remarkable work of 16 cores running at the same time to optimize performance uh, which is the fastest phone on the market currently uh, in terms of playback hours i'm able to get up to 19 hours of video playback currently on the iphone 13 has both phones have face id uh, the, both phones also have the ceramic shield front uh, screen which is a better enhanced screen for uh, resistance to scratch both phones have up to six meters of water depth water resistant um, and both phones are compatible with apple latest magsafe accessories which is fantastic and that's something i will be investing in the future the one standout um, i guess purpose to buying the iphone 13 is the internal storage the iphone 13 comes in at 128 gigs of internal storage the iphone 12 starts at 64 gigs of internal storage now you can always upgrade the storage but again upgrading storage costs a bit, bit of a jump in price 
The display on both phones are XDR display, um, OLED display with a 6.1 inch screen diagonal in terms of the pixel. Uh, iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 both have the same resolution with over well, with exactly 660 ppi. Phones are rated for IP68, which gives it the ability to withstand dust as well as withstand um, minute particles from destroying or damaging the phone. Uh, it can uh, allow you to be up to 6 meters in depth for 30 minutes underwater. Uh, you definitely don't want to keep it beyond 30 minutes underwater. And you could try, but I guarantee the phone would not be the same afterwards. And in terms of cameras, and this is a, another slight difference on both phones. Both phones have a 12 megapixel wide and ultra wide lens camera. Um, the both phones um, is equipped with a 1.6 aperture, um, night mode, deep vision. Uh, the iPhone 13 on the right here, uh, red display does have a sensor shift optical image stabilization, and this gives you the ability to have those um, cinematic focusing. The iPhone 12 does not. Uh, both phones does have the True Tone Flash Slow Sync, which gives you maximum light as the flash is being used. Uh, you do have the Stunning Portrait Mode, Enhanced Bokeh Effect for full depth control on your phones. Um, the iPhone 13 does have Smart HDR4 for photos, whereas the iPhone 12 just have HDR3. If that means something, then that would a deal breaker for some people. Um, the iPhone 13 does have photographic style and I didn't uh, try to play around with the camera while it was um, getting set up and the camera is just fantastic. There's a lot of cool feature there um, when you enter the camera. It does have the cinematic setting and then it actually gives you like some details on how to use it to add those beautiful bouquet shallow depth of field in a cinematic mode which is something very very exciting something I will be using a lot of on the iPhone 13. With regards to video recording um, I am a YouTuber I do a lot of videos on YouTube but sometimes my phone um, is sometimes the camera that I use for YouTube just depends on the environment I mean uh, both phones have the ability to record 4k video recording at 24 25 30 and 60 frames per second um, and both phones does have the 1080 HD video recording at 25 30 and 60 frames per second that would be my side-by-side -side comparison there's not a lot of difference in specs on these two phones uh, to validate uh, which one is better it all really depends on the user and how you're using your phone that's it for the video today i hope this video was helpful and helps you to make a better decision when it comes to buying a new phone christmas is right around the corner or the holiday season is right around the corner this is iphone season everyone is lined up at the apple store right now to get the new phones uh, my suggestion is like i said before if you're not heavy user the iphone 12 is a great phone it has many different color choices than the iphone 13 and if you're an intense user they use your phone a lot more then it'll be better to have the iphone 13 with a larger storage better camera and a higher slightly higher in performance capacity then the iphone 13 will be the best phone for you so that's it like subscribe share this video on your social media network really appreciate all of you um, and please leave a comment below on what you think about your iPhone and how this video helps in making that decision in which iPhone you will be buying and subscribe and definitely we will see you on the next video.